Erica, today we're not only hearing from those who worked alongside Cardinal Law, but also parishioners here at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. And one man who told me that he'll pray for his soul. Of the more than a dozen parishioners at Boston's Cathedral of the Holy Cross this morning, many remember Cardinal Bernard Law. The news of his passing, a reminder of the sex abuse scandal that shook the Catholic Church. It was a bad time here in town, and there's a lot of people still hurting. Although his name was never mentioned in today's 30-minute Mass, some chose to include law in their prayers. In every Mass, that's what we pray for, the forgiveness and, of course, the redemption which Christ gave to all of us. Meanwhile, the lawyer representing survivors of clergy sex abuse says Law's death reopens the wounds caused by that scandal. His name is a reminder to many victims of the child abuse they suffered and they endured. And it is a reminder how child abuse could be prevented but wasn't prevented. Former priest Robert Hotson issuing this statement, saying in part, quote, while it is always a sad occasion when a fellow human being dies, and while we mourn for the deceased and his family and friends, it can never be forgotten that Cardinal Bernard Law resigned as Archbishop of Boston in disgrace as a result of the cover-up of sexual abuse of children, teenagers, and vulnerable adults that he and others masterminded for decades. Hotson goes on to say, and we've heard it all morning long, Law's death will be a trigger for these survivors. Garabedian says it too. He is urging survivors to reach out and talk to their support networks right now. Live in Boston, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.